Hello and welcome to my week on International Crafters. It's Nikki again and as usual I'm going to start the week with the card. <laughs> You'll get used to me near my cards. <laughs> um, on my last uh, card I made um, I showed you a card that I said was a fail card and I'd actually made a background and it had a heart on it and I showed you the card. Um, so what I'm going to do this time is to reuse the um, the background that I made. I actually had a heart on there and I just pulled that off and I used the heart that I had on there on this tag. So you see heart and tag. So um, uh, and I said I'd use the paper for something else so I thought I'd better show you what you can do even if you make something and it doesn't work you can always, always, always reuse um, what you've got. Either, you know, in a journal you can just like gesso it and start again. Here on the card, what I did was I pulled the element off, which was the heart, and it's left me the background. So that's what I'm going to do today, is work on the background. Now I've got a, uh, a little image that I've already uh, paper pieced, coloured and paper pieced. And this is a greeting farm I image, and I think it's Princess Anya, I think. <laughs> Can't quite remember, but I think it's Princess Anya. And I've cut out a couple of um, little circles here. And this, this one is the heart circles from Spellbinders. And I've just used a punch here. This punch to cut that out and I'd had this one, this is a Lily of the Valley um, uh, stamp which I've already stamped out ages ago and just had it lying here so I thought better use that one as well. So this is going to be a uh, happy birthday card for the cute little image there and it's going to be something like this. Basically I was just showing, I'm just showing you that you can, if you make, if you don't like what you've made, you can always take it apart, carefully take it apart, and um, start again. So um, that's what we're doing, starting again. <coughs> As always, I prefer to take my images down um, rather than use glue on it, because glue, wet glue, on cards has a tendency to to warp the card. So I don't do it. Um, yeah, if I can possibly help it, I won't use a wet glue on the on the cards. There are occasions when it's okay, but I, you know, just prefer not to have that image soaked. That's just per personal preference. It's not you know up to you really. But I've been making the cards for a while now, and. And I find that you can use glues or wet glues on occasion, but on the whole, it's best not to. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here is just stick this down here. I had an awful um, accident with my little image there last night sat here at the table and I've got um I've got these uh these jelly ball pens and I wanted the white one <coughs> for my image and I put it down and and then just picked up this one and because I was going to do the whites of her eyes started to do it and then realized oh my goodness I hadn't picked up the white pen at all <laughs> I'd picked up the glitter pen so I was going to do the whites for her eyes there, but it's actually glitter, so I thought, oh, I'll blow it, just leave it. So I've glittered around her eye there. And she's got glittery eyes now instead of um, whites of her eyes. So, but it looks okay. It looks okay. It's not a loss. I'm sure I could have gone over it in white, but rather than make a mess, and I'd spent, spent an hour on that image as it was, and it's like, no, enough's enough. What I could have done, of course, is just cut her this little bit out again and coloured it and lay, and put it over the top, do a little paper piecing on her face so that I was only remaking her face, which is um, 
which is what I do occasionally is that if I'm doing the face and it's not working out then I, I just stamp it stamp the face area again and go over it and then just lay the face on because it gives a actually gives a nice three-dimensional um, effect to the face so you know even if you make a mistake as you're going along there are ways that you can get over that mistake <coughs> I'm going to um, just pop the tape on this one here at the moment shaker cards are in and I will be making a shaker card later on um, I've got on this uh, heart's die thing it when you cut it out you're left out with tiny little heart shapes and that so I've been saving those and uh, they'll they'll go in a shaker card and I'll make that when I have enough from um, other things that I'm doing to make the card so uh, as always when you're making your cards keep your area clean have a clean mat because um, you be putting your card down and oh look at that you'll be putting your card down and um, <clears throat> if you have wet on there I've got a drippy I've got a, the hatch there and um, it condensates and drips and I didn't notice that that had dripped my goodness so yeah keep your area clean otherwise uh, you'll um, end up with a mess on your cards this one's going to a friend, so I'm sure they'll forgive me. If it was one that I was selling, I'd have to start again. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's okay if you're sending it to a friend, but uh, not if you're selling cards, you can't do that. Quite often what I'll do is I'll just have a piece of paper on here if I've been extra messy with something then I'll just put a sheet of paper down especially when you get to the actual card bit then uh, <clears throat> then it's important to keep your card clean <laughs> I've had this time and time again is that especially when using inks is that you get your your hands get really quite inky and you need to keep it clean people <laughs> just lay that off at a little angle there <clears throat> this down here and we'll put the little girl on last little Anya, Princess Anya <laughs> although I copic coloured the, um, the crown and that I used the Wink of Stella pen to make it really glittery and I don't know whether you can see how glittery that is in the camera but but it is honestly <laughs> So there, that's the uh, finished card there and what I normally do as well on my cards is is that I have some some stamps and if I'm doing a professional stamping there I'll just use I'll use that one if it's going to be a stamp that I sell I use that one if I'm giving it to friends I use that one there so if you get my uh, if you get my card one of those you know you're a friend <laughs>
And also as well with these um, with these hand stamps and that is is you've got to make sure when you put your <laughs> stamp on there you have it the right way up. I can't tell you how many cards I've made where I've put the um, the stamp on upside down. So there you go. So stamp there. So my dear friend, when you get this, I'm sorry about the uh, <laughs> the mark on the back, but hey, you'll forgive me. It's a thought that counts. Okay, so see you again soon. Or tomorrow, actually. <laughs> see you again tomorrow on, uh, on <coughs> my challenge week on international crafters. Bye.